All right, in this video, um, we are going to look at some kind of advanced distance formula problems. Uh, basically, problems where that you're given a distance and you're expected to work backwards. And so, here would be an example. If they give you that the distance between two points is five, but you don't know one of the coordinates of one of the points, how could you work backwards and find that coordinate? And so, uh, in order to do this, this is going to be expecting that we have like a kind of a working knowledge of how to use the distance formula and where it comes from. So, please watch my previous videos if you don't have that. Um, but we're, we're going to walk through how to do this. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to label my points to start off. I'm going to call these x1 and y1. I'm going to call these x2 and y2. And that's obviously our distance. And what we're going to do is we're going to take these values and substitute them into our distance formula. And let's, let's just kind of see what happens. So if I start with um, x2 minus x1, x2 minus x1, and that value is being squared, so I kind of just did that part of the formula. And then we're gonna do y2 minus y1. So let's kind of do plus, and let's do um, y2 minus y1, negative one minus k. And that's also squared, so if I do all of that, that's gonna be equal to a distance of five, which is given. And so let's just do some algebra and simplify here, and I'll just kind of stake it step by step. Um, 0 minus a negative 4. When you subtract a negative, you're really adding. So this is really just 0 plus 4, which is 4. And 4 squared is 16. Now over here, we got to do a little bit of a side work for this. So I'm not really sure where I have space to do that. Maybe, um, I don't really have any space at all. Let's just kind of come over here. And if I square a binomial, if I do negative 1 minus k, I have to multiply it times negative 1 minus k. So negative 1 times negative 1 is 1. Negative 1 times negative k is k. Negative times a negative is another positive. And then negative k times negative k is k squared. So once I combine like terms, that squared binomial is really this right here. So let's take this value and let's just kind of insert it in here. So we have plus and then I'm going to write because all this, when we squared out, became 1 plus 2k plus k squared, okay? And um, now we're here. My next step is uh, I'm going to square both sides of this equation, so I'd like to get rid of this radical right here. So that means the left side of my equation, 5 squared is 25, and the right side of my equation, the exponent and the radical are inverse operations, so they just kind of undo each other, and we're left with 16 plus 1 plus 2k plus k squared. And hopefully you're looking at this equation that we're, you're, we're trying to solve. You're saying, oh, that's a quadratic. Um, and so what I would do is I would let's kind of combine some like terms and let's collect everything onto the right side of the equation. So if I kind of combine my like terms here, we have 17 plus 2k plus k squared. I combine those two. And then let's just um, bring the 25 over by subtracting it from each side because normally when we solve quadratics, we want the whole thing equal to zero. So 17 minus 25 is negative eight plus two K plus K squared. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna rearrange those three terms. And we've got a little quadratic to solve. And so once you're here, you can really solve this using any method of your choosing. You use quadratic formula. Um, I'm, I'm gonna factor just because I think it factors pretty nicely. Um, whenever I look at this, I believe we're gonna have K plus four and K minus two. And so if I use my zero product property, that would mean that k is negative 4 and that k is positive 2. This is a process called factoring and using the zero product property. I'm not going to go into it in this video. But note, you could also do your quadratic formula to get from there to here. And what we have is we have k equals negative 4 and k equals 2. And you might be thinking, okay, well, that's kind of interesting because um, k is the y-coordinate to this point. So what that would be implying, if I kind of came down here is that would mean that our answer is the ordered pair negative 4, negative 4, because that could be the y-coordinate, or our solution would be negative 4, oops, I'll kind of be color-coded, negative 4, comma, 2. And you might be saying, well, which is it? Which one, which one of these points is a distance of 5 away from this point? And so to, to kind of illustrate What's happening here, let's, let's look at the whole thing graphically. Um, long story short is that they're both answers, but let's kind of examine why over here. So if I have the point um, 0, negative 1, I kind of showed it using 
blue right here, so that would be the ordered pair, 0, negative 1. What we have is we're looking at points that take the form of negative 4, comma, k. In other words, points that have an x-coordinate of negative 4. And so if I think about that, if I go to where x is negative 4 on this graph, that would be all of these points, okay? Any point on this vertical line, x equals negative 4, would take this, this form, negative 4, comma, k. We might have negative 4, comma, 6, or negative 4, 0, or negative 4, negative 2, negative 4, negative 7. I don't know. But any point on here would take this form. You just got to figure out which ones are a distance of 5. And hopefully, if we're thinking about this, you're saying, okay, well, the point negative 4, negative 4, let's see where that is. So negative 4, negative 1, 2, 3, 4 would be right there. And also, the order pair negative 4, 2 would be right there. And so hopefully what you're seeing by looking at this is, okay, those are a distance of 5 away from that point, but also this is a distance of 5 away from that point. So by representing it graphically, you can see that we actually have two different um, solutions here. Both of these are valid solutions to this problem. So let's look at another example. So on this one, really the same idea as the last problem. I would encourage you to maybe pause uh, pause the video, try to work this one out for yourself, um, and, then, and then hit play and see if you get what I get. So I'm going to jump into it. So I have x1, y1, and then my second point I could call x2, y2, and then we have our distance would be the root of 41. So if I kind of fill everything in my formula, we have the root of 41 equals... We have x2 minus x1, which in this case would be 2 minus b, and that value is being squared. Um, that's this part of our distance formula. And now let's do this part. Let's do the y coordinate. So I do y2 minus y1. That would be negative 1 minus 3. Negative 1 minus 3 squared. And uh, let's just kind of do some algebra, and let's see, see where we get. So I'm going to start off. How about I start off by just squaring each side of the equation? Because if you square the right side, it's going to get rid of that radical. And if you square the left side, it will get rid of that radical. And then we just don't have to deal with the radicals anymore. So that's beautiful. And then what I have is I have this. Um, negative 1 minus 3 would be negative 4 squared. That becomes that. And now we got to do a little bit of algebra to square that binomial. Um, I can kind of come and do some aside work over here. Let's figure out what that is. So I'm going to come and I'll kind of work this out over in this little region up here. So let's do 2 minus b times 2 minus b. Because when you square anything, you multiply it by itself. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times negative b is negative 2b. Negative b times 2 is negative 2b. And negative b times negative b is b squared. So once I combine like terms, you should have 4 minus 4b plus b squared is this entire value. Let's come back and, and substitute it in. So we have uh, this binomial squared becomes 4 minus 4b plus b squared. And then lastly, negative 4 squared is 16. And we just have a quadratic to solve. So with, as with all quadratics, I'm going to collect everything on the right side of the equation. So I'm going to rewrite my quadratic term first, my linear term second, and then I'm just going to combine these constants over here to make a 20. And that's still equal to 41. And so then whenever I subtract 41 from each side, that should become, is that negative 21 there? And so now you could solve this quadratic by using your quadratic formula if you wanted to. We're going to get two solutions to it. I'm just going to solve by factoring, so I think this one factors pretty nicely. Um, looks like minus 7 and plus 3. That would mean that our solutions to this quadratic are that b equals 7 and that b equals negative 3. That would mean that if I were to take this ordered pair and look at it, we have two different solutions that kind of fit the form that we want. We have two different ordered pairs that have a y-coordinate of 3. The first one would be 7, 3, and the second one would be negative 3, 3. And both of those are this far away from this point. Let's represent it graphically just to kind of get a visualization of it. So first I'm going to plot the given points. Let's take 2, negative 1 would be right there. 
And then what we have is we have points that take the order, the, the form of B comma three. In other words, we're looking at points that have a Y coordinate of three. Those points would uh, fall on a graph anywhere along the horizontal line Y equals three. They'd be somewhere along this line because this is the collection of points like negative one, three, like uh, four, three, seven, three. All, any point on this line would have that Y coordinate of three. And so what we've established with our algebra over here is that the two points that are that distance away from here, the first one would be, let, uh, let's see, 7, 3. So 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 3. And the other one would be negative 3, 3, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, 3. And hopefully you can see on a graph, okay, that seems to make sense because it appears that that point is the same distance away as that point, that, that red distance is the square root of 41, and that red distance is the square root of 41. So we actually have two different solutions to this problem. Our value for B could be either 7 or negative 3.